In this second video on the subject of congruent triangles, we're going to show that if you have two triangles with the same sides, or the sides are the equivalent sides are the same in both triangles, then the two triangles are going to be congruent. So let's construct uh, two triangles with these three pairs of equal sides. And there are two triangles. Those sides are all the same, and those angles are also all the same. Because uh, three sides the same guarantee that the two triangles are congruent. Now let's see that rule in action. This is a, a real problem which leads on to an important piece of, uh, of uh, information about circles. O is the center of the circle, and M here is the midpoint of AB. I've marked that these two line sections, or line segments, are equal to each other because M is the middle of AB. Now what we're going to do is to prove that OM is at right angles to AB. In other words, that when you go down to here, this is a right angle. OM is at right angles to AB. And I'm going to do it using congruent triangles. Well, the immediate problem, of course, is we haven't actually got any triangles at all yet. So let's make some triangles. By joining up the center to A and B, we've made two triangles. And what we have to do now is to prove that those two triangles are congruent. And that will have the consequence that if the triangles are congruent, those two angles must also be the same. Now, how do we go about doing that? Well, let's look at the beginning of our proof. Start off by showing that O to A and O to B are the same distance. Why? Because each is a radius. They're both radii of the circle. The line AM is equal to the line BM. Why? Well, we're told that at the beginning of the question. We're told that M is the midpoint of AB. And OM, well, it's the same in both triangles, so it must be equal. It's the same line. So, the triangles AOM and BOM are congruent. Why? Because of the SSS rule. Three sides the same. The two triangles must be congruent. Now, this has the consequence that angles are the same in the two triangles, and particularly the two we're interested in, which are this one and this one, and they're equal to each other. But the two angles must add up to 180 degrees because they're angles on a straight line. So if you've got two angles the same adding up to 180, they must each be equal to 90 degrees. And we finished our proof. And we finish off with this little word QED, which just says that uh, we've ended up by proving what we set out to prove. It's another way of saying uh, this is the end of the proof. Now, it raises an important question here. First of all, we've proved an important theorem. And that is that a line drawn from the center to the midpoint of a chord uh, does uh, does so at right angles to the chord. Not only with that, we've shown that by using congruent triangles, uh, we're only we only need three things in the two triangles uh, to show that they're congruent, but we use that fact to work out a fourth thing. In this case, the fact that those two angles are equal. So congruent triangles usually leads on to something else, and this is a good example of that process.